Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Arab Design Basics. In this video, we will learn how to solve source free series or parallel RLC circuits for transient analysis. So the series RLC circuit will be given as RLC. These things are in series and current through the circuit is I, which is also the current through the inductor. So we have to solve for current through the inductor or we have to solve for voltage across the capacitor V. So either we have to solve for current or voltage. Same way in the parallel RLC circuit, we have R, L and C in parallel and we have to solve for either current through the inductor or voltage through the capacitor. Here you can notice the voltage across the capacitor is same as voltage across the inductor and voltage across the resistance. Now, here in the series circuit, all the currents IC, IL and IR will be same and that is equal to I. In parallel RLC circuit, voltage is same. So VC, VR, VL, everything is equal to V. Here, since this is a loop, so we can apply KVL and KVL, if you apply and find out voltage across this capacitor, it will be negative of voltage across these two components because the total voltage should be zero and that is equal to minus IR minus LDI by DT, which is from the KVL. Here we have to apply KCL at this node. So the current through the inductor will be equal to current through the capacitor and current through the resistor. Current through the resistor will be voltage across this which is V divided by R. So this is negative of V by R and then current through the capacitor is CdV by dt. So these expressions are very important for finding out this dI by dt and dV by dt. So by, give, by taking the initial condition means at t equal to 0 if there was any current in the inductor or there was voltage across the capacitor for that purpose we find out the initial condition which is I0 V0 dI by dt at 0 dV by dt at 0. Same thing we will be doing for parallel also. So these four things are very important for calculating the constant which comes in the equation. So we will be finding these four items for both the types of circuit. Then next is alpha. Alpha is R by 2L for the series RLC circuit. So this thing is for series RLC circuit. Omega naught is 1 by root LC which is same for parallel RLC also. Only alpha value will change for the parallel RLC case which is 1 by 2 RC. And the next step we will be comparing the value of alpha and omega naught. So there is a possibility that alpha and omega naught both are same or alpha is higher or omega naught is higher. So next step we are going to see the conditions. So if alpha is less than omega naught, we have found the alpha and omega naught value. If alpha is less than omega naught, then it is called underdamped condition. And in underdamped condition, the IT and VT, either of this you can take, is given as this expression, where A1 and A2 constant is unknown. And omega D is given by omega naught square minus alpha square. So already alpha and omega naught is known. So we can calculate omega D. So here omega D is known. Alpha is also known from here. Only A1 and A2 will be unknown. So that we can find out using the initial condition. Initial condition in the sense I0, V0, DI by DT or DV by DT. So how we apply initial condition? We can put if the expression is in terms of IT, we'll put T equal to 0 and then we have an expression. Then we'll take differentiation of that. That means DI by DT. And then again we apply T equal to 0. So if we know I0 and DI by DT 0 plus, we can find out A1 and A2 constant. Similarly, for the case 2, we have critically damped when alpha and omega naught both are same, it is critically damped and solution is A1 plus A2 T into E to the power minus alpha T. 
again alpha is already known we have to calculate for a1 and a2 so same way we will apply the initial condition for finding a1 and a2 now the case 3 when alpha is greater than omega naught so if you get alpha which is larger than omega naught that case is called over damped and the previous case was critically damped this is over damped in this case you can write expression for it and vt as a1 e to the power s1 t plus a2 e to the power s2 t now here s1 is given as minus alpha plus minus under root alpha square minus omega so both value is known alpha and omega naught both are known so you can find out s1 s2 both will be negative s1 as well as s2 will be negative and a1 and a2 is unknown and the process remains same to find a1 and a2 you have to apply initial condition in terms of either it dy by dt or vt dv by dt at t equal to 0 so here i have clearly written so one initial condition to be applied for i0 or v0 means at uh, t equal to 0 either you find current or voltage whatever expression you are writing over here and then second initial condition can be applied as di by dt at 0 or dv by dt at 0 to find out a1 and a2 so that's how you can solve for it or vt for any rlc circuit whether it is parallel rlc or series rlc thank you